Welcome to the second day of the Qualcomm Star Worlds for 2013, where things are starting to get exciting. The foggy weather delayed the start of the day's racing, but finally within less than an hour, everything was ready to go. At the start line, the majority of the teams chose to keep together on Winward, a repeat of the choices made yesterday by most of the competitors. The teams were then aiming to head to the more favorable right side of the course. The Ukrainian team, Greyev and Kusnia, were among the first of the boats to head to the right, with the Germans Merkelbach and Bartel to leeward of them. At the windward mark, it was the duo of Ledbetter and Morton who rounded first, followed closely by the Swiss team Chantigny and Ducamum, who followed them in second, with the Germans tight on their tail in third. The wind was stronger today, and as the fog started to clear, the breeze began to build, making for some ideal conditions for the 66 competitors sailing here in San Diego. Conditions aside, the boats being sailed at the Qualcomm Star Worlds are guaranteed to provide some close racing action, being the world's premier one-design racing keel boat. Having led the race thus far, it was Ledbetter and Morton who approached the bottom mark in the lead, seeming confident as they rounded the right side first, with the right-hand side being favoured once again. It seemed that Ledbetter had his tactics worked out as he made a habit of keeping closer to the left as he approached the windward mark, gaining precious meters over his opponents as he stayed close to the left ley line. Chantenay must have had some strong tactics in play as he also managed to maintain his current position in second place. The Americans Diaz and Baltins were now in third, having managed to overtake the Germans. Before the last upwind, Diaz made his move rounding the opposite mark at the bottom gate, keeping an eye on the Swiss team as the Americans chased them for second place. However, he was unable to get ahead and instead tacked over the Germans Merkelbach and Bartel, unable to benefit from the left side. Currently in 13th place on the overall leaderboard at the time of racing, Diaz could benefit greatly from a win in this race, adding a little pressure to their campaign today. Ledbetter and Morton sailed without distractions throughout the race, extending their lead even further and as a result scoring the day's bullet. A win in this race rocketed the team from 9th to 2nd place in a spectacular leap up the leaderboard. But let's hear more about today's race from the winner. The day started foggy and so the race committee waited because we couldn't see the weather mark but when we finally got started um, it was it was a nice hiking breeze and we got off the line clear and went to the right. The trickiest part of the race was after we rounded the first mark first and the fog closed in and you couldn't see the leeward mark so it was you know <laughs> you didn't know where we were headed but uh, but we held them off there and then we, we stayed ahead on the way to the finish. Make sure you join us for the action and to see if any of the other teams can penetrate the first to sixth place lineup.